So today we'll pick um, things back uh, from where we left last time. So in the last um, time we were together, we created a, a VPC in our AWS account. Today, we will see how to use the same four-step framework to create an S3 bucket in our AWS account. So let's, um, so, so far we have a createvpc.go which creates the VPC. So let's go ahead and create another one to create S3 bucket. So the first step always is to create a package. And then uh, we need to be importing all our uh, packages or modules which we need for, um, for creating the S3 buckets here. And uh, we need a, a function main. So the four step process, which uh, we looked at last time is to load. Um, I'll keep it brief this time. Configurations. And the second step is to create uh, a client. And the third step is to create the input variables and then um, call the actual method to create the S3 bucket. So using the client we created in the previous steps. So in the load configuration, so we will do the same pattern as last time. We have a CFG and then um, we will do a config load default config. And um, the first option is we are going to be using the the context, but as we saw in the last video, we're not going to be doing anything with the context. So we just use the default to do, just to do um, as you see here. And, um, and also we will also specify the region like we did last time, which is going to be config with region. And then we'll use the US East one. So we don't need this parameter, so let's remove that. So we always have to check for error. So that will look not equal to null. So we'll do a log fatal. To load the so person we use for any different any types. So in this case, A is a different type with different parameters. So we can use a person V for that. So now that we're done with the configuration, let's create a client. So S3 dot new from config, uh, which is same as uh, what we did last time. So this is how you create a client. In this case, you're using S3 client, but in the last time we used um, EC2 client. So we need to be importing this S3. So we'll see how to do that. And if you go back to the documentation here, and if we search for S3, so if you go back, So 
So we're still in the EC2 context. So if you go to service, and then if you search for S3, it's a module. So you need to import this module in there. So let's go ahead and do that. So when I'm using the Tmux, which is the emulator I'm using, there's an issue with uh, copy paste. Now give me one more, let's check one more time. Okay, it worked this time. So we imported the S3 module. And then the next one is to create the input variable. And um, So let's say S3 input. It's going to be a uh, create bucket input. and we need to pass in certain uh, values. So let's check the documentation to see what we need to pass in the create bucket. So if you search in here for create bucket input. So let's see if there's anything that's required. So as you see, uh, the first um, member variable, which is the bucket name is a required field and everything else, there is no requirement for you to pass it so you can choose to override any of these configs but by default you are required to give a bucket and your uh, it is of type string so let's create uh, the bucket name in aws has to be globally unique meaning you cannot use uh, any names that are used by anyone else using the aws environment so it should be a very unique string so if you are um, following me along try to find a unique bucket name so let's go ahead and define a bucket name using a string variable so it's easy for us. And then we can use the helper function, string. And then we can say, I'll just add my name so that it's uh, kind of unique. And then I can say one, two, three, four, five. And then I'll say Raj again. So you can use any names you need. And then if you look at the create bucket input, so you need to pass in the name bucket here. So let's do that. So that's, it's bucket. And then it's um, the bucket name. Okay, I think it matches now. So now we have the input ready. So the next is to actually call the uh, method to create the S3 bucket. So let's do that. So I want to teach you one more concept here and I'm just using an underscore. So underscore means that you don't have to worry about the return object and you just want to execute the function. Uh, so if you do not put underscore, uh, Golang will complain saying like you're not using the variables in the uh, in the program here. So by putting an underscore, you're telling it, you don't care about the output that is returned from this function, which you are about to write. So it is SVC, which is the client we wrote, and then you need to call in the create bucket. So let's go back to the documentation and then look at create bucket. So it should be in the client part of it. So let's see, create bucket, which is client create bucket. 
So the first parameter here is the context. As usual, we are going to be passing in the context.todo and then the parameters, which is the S3 input, and then we don't wait about the third parameter. So let's do that. So the first parameter is context.todo. And then the second one is the S3. input. So since we're using an Amberson, which is the reference and uh, it is stored as, um, as a reference here, you don't have to pass in Amberson when you pass in the actual value here. So just to reiterate what we're trying to do here. So I would check for an error condition here. So let's do that. If error not equal to null. And then uh, actually let me go copy so that we don't have to type. So if we go up here, I'm going to yank this and then hmm. okay. So it says, um, so we'll say unable to create bucket here. Uh, we have a syntax error and uh, let's see what that is. And um, so context to do. So we are opening a parenthesis here. I don't know if this is required. I think that should do it. So I think we got everything we need. Um, so let's, oh, there's one more header here. So we're missing um, a quotes in here. So what are we missing here? So it's saying, I don't know how it added the extra parent, uh, uh, braces here. So let's fix that too. So it's complaining that the S3 input is not declared. So we need to use a colon equal to, because if you're using uh, assignment in the same, uh, you have to say colon equal to. What else is missing? Compiler main declared. So this error is fine because we have two mains. We have a main function in the create VPC, which we created last time. So this is okay to implement. And it says could not import no required models package. So we have to see what this is. And then um, are we using the, let's go check the documentation. So we are looking at the S3 module. It's a V2 packet. So I don't know what this error is. We'll check it uh, shortly and then and then it says no new variables on the left side of, oh, it doesn't like this one, which is should be. It says oh, that should be underscore. I don't know what it's complaining here. Oh, this should be. Yeah, I think that got rid of that. So let's try to compile 
and see what's going on so let's go to this other terminal now we have the create s3 bucket let's do the co mod tidy to grab the s3 packages okay now that it loaded it so let's do go run name so before that let's go to the s3 service so there are if you go to the buckets here there are no buckets in this region so now let's run the program if it's not uh, if you don't have any errors it should create a bucket Okay, it's complaining that there is no host. I'm trying to think what is the error here. So let's go back to the program. So we are creating the bucket name here, which is this one. And then we are calling it here. So let's look at the error one more time. So it's saying like it's not able to go here. Oh, I see what it is. So we, I think we spelled the region wrong. So let's go back to the code here. So if you look here, we are, we missed the US East one. So th this is a good bug um, to have. Uh, I'm sure you'll have similar errors in your program as well. So we need to be going to US East one. And then um, I forgot to add a message. Let's uh, do a simple error message saying like, bucket created. Okay, let's see if uh, it works now. Okay, so it says bucket created. So let's go back to the console here and do a quick refresh. Awesome. So that's how easy it is to create a bucket in AWS environment using Golang SDKs. I know we struggled a little bit with the syntax and um, other things, but um, once you get used to this um, kind of coding it's easy to replicate this to create multiple buckets and um, and also you can combine the previous program with the vpc and this one with uh, s3 buckets so you can kind of um, combine a lot of things to create a cool tool which can work for whatever you're trying to do so in the next module we will um, do something interesting using the sdks so until then um, just practice this and see if you can get this to work